Welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna go and jump straight on it. We've got an awesome, awesome 300ZX that's come in. It's been mapped by Mike and it's making some decent power. The car's taken a long time to build, but we're gonna go onto the dyno and do some power runs. Let's go. So this awesome ZX300 has got the VG30 V6 engine. It sounds great on the dyno. I say it's been a long slog this car. He hasn't driven it much and we want to hand it back to him so it's absolutely perfect. So when the vehicle arrived with us, had a 40 cast sensor. So what was happening, the timing was swinging as it was going up the RPM, and it was giving it erratic timing figures. So one minute it wouldn't do any um, pre-ignition or any debt, and then the next run it would, so you keep backing the timing down and it keeps losing power. So to get it reliable and consistent, change the cast sensor, and now it's mint. What we have recommended is to actually change this cast sensor and put a proper trigger kit on it. So that'll have a trigger kit on the bottom of the crankshaft and replace the cast sensor with another sensor and that will have the cam pickup. So you get a much more accurate timing throughout the duration of the RPM without any whip that's happening on the belt because this sensor, this cast sensor that's picking up from the, uh, for the engine rotation and the cam, is driven off the cam. So you're getting a lot of belt flex and whip on it as well. So that will actually change where the position of the sensor is picking it up throughout the RPM range. So if you stuck around to the end, that is the 300ZX now, all fixed, no misfires, constant timing throughout the red, constant timing throughout the rev range. So customers are gonna be very happy and it can go away knowing that it's safe. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you on the next one.